Hello, in this lesson we are going to talk about some different components and basic features of Cadea V5. First of all we will talk about Cadea platforms. Cadea comes in three basic platforms P1, P2 and P3. P1 is for small and medium sized process oriented companies that requires large scale digitized product definition. Whereas P2 is for advanced design engineering companies that require product process and resource modeling. On the other hand P3 is for high-end design applications and is basically for automotive and aerospace industry where high quality surfacing or class A surfacing is used. So let's begin with the P3 platform of Cadea V5. After getting started you will be navigated to the initial screen. The upper bar is called as a menu bar and under start tab you can navigate to different Cadea workbenches. Now Cadea P5 workbenches are specified environment consisting of set of tools that allow the users to perform specific design tasks. Some commonly used workbenches in Cadea V5 are Part Design Workbench, Assembly Design Workbench, Drafting Workbench, Wireframe and Software Design Workbench, Generative Sheet Metal Design Workbench, Generative Shape Design Workbench as well as DMU Kinematics Workbench. So let's get started with any one of the workbench. Let's say a Part Design Workbench. Name the part as Part 1 and click OK. You will be navigated to the initial screen that appears after any of the workbench. At the center of the screen there are three fundamental planes that is XY plane, YZ plane and ZX planes. These planes will help you to get started with your designing process. On the left hand side there is a specification tree which displays all the operation that has been performed over a body in a sequence. To illustrate this let's take an example of a part body. In this example you can see all the operations that has been performed to make this part can be seen under specification tree. You can jump onto any of the operation and modify it. If your modifications are appropriate, your part body will be adjusted accordingly. On the right hand side there is a compass which consists of three fundamental axes that is U, V and W axis. You can move your part along any of the axis or any of the plane between these two axes or you can also rotate your part along any of the axis. Now at the bottom of the screen there is a status bar which consists of information or dialog box on the left hand side whereas power input field on the right hand side. Above the status bar there is a toolbar space on the bottom and right side of the screen. All the toolbars that are common to all the workbenches are placed at the bottom of the screen whereas some toolbars which are specific to each environment are placed on the right hand side of the toolbar. You can drag this toolbar. You can place it wherever you want. You can either place it at the top of the screen or you can place it at the bottom of the screen. You can also select these toolbars by right clicking on toolbar space and select it from here. There is also an option of customization where you can customize your toolbar under toolbar tab and restore all its position as well as contents. Now under the tool tab there is an option command which can help you to change the settings of Cadea V5. For example, you can change the visualization settings under display tab like background of the color or you can change the unit and scale under parameters and measures tab over here. You can also change all the settings which are specific to each workbench from here like part design settings, assembly design settings and so on. So this is a very handy command which will be used very frequently.